Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand that for praise. We deserve the praise, Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. We can do better than that. Amen. If you know this young lady, if you know of her praise, there ain't no way in the world you can sit in this time. She had a praise. She had a song of her heart. To God be the glory. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes.
And thank God for those years, man. Thank God for those years. I cherish those moments. I don't know when the pain is going to stop. But I know when it starts, God comforts me. God keeps me. And he'll do the same thing for you. In those lonely nights when they come and you walk in the hall and you don't see them, just call on the name of the Lord. Check on them, talk to them. Let the tears come. No, they don't come back and say you got to be strong. You got to be strong for nobody. You shed those tears. Because when you shed tears, God strengthens and restores you. Trust in the Lord. I'm going to read to you a scripture that we all know that we was raised on. Because every day of our lives, if we don't know that the Lord is our shepherd, yeah. we are going to be lost. I'm going to read you the 23rd Psalm. And it reads, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The word of God for the people of God. Let those words comfort you. Yes, praise the Lord. The Old Testament is going to be found in the book of John. The 14th chapter, chapter, very familiar. Amen. And God writes, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. Yes. In my Father's house are many men. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And wherever you go, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we do not know the way, how can we know the way? And Jesus said, this is the catch. <laughs> Jesus said, and I, not Muhammad, not Paul, Bill, not Paul John, not Hail Mary, not the Quran, none of that. It's good teaching. But Jesus, said, Jesus made it plain and said, I am the way. Yes. The truth and the life. No man comes unto my father except through me. That's a blessing. To die in Jesus. Come on, give him a hand clap of praise. And I want to pray. Father, thank you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Lord. For the life of fulfillment, our Lord. Father, we don't understand always what you do and how you do, but Lord, we don't always agree with what you do and how you do and when you do. But we know, Father, that you are a loving God. Yes, we know that you are all wise and all seen. We know that, Lord, you know what's best for us. Yes. Father, you know our hurt, you know our pain, you know the sorrow, you know the loneliness, the emptiness, you know the brokenness. Father, I ask you right now that you would touch this family, Lord. Touch their hearts, Lord. Lord, reassure them that death is not punishment. Reassure them, Lord, that it's a reward, it's a rest in you. It's not the end, it's just the beginning. Father, we believe there's a better place than this old raggedy life with our pains and sorrows and our hurts and our coronavirus and wars and rumors of wars and murders and rapes and all kinds of foolishness. Father, we believe there's a bright side somewhere. Father, we thank you, Lord, she might have left a little bit early, but Father, we believe that she's better off right now, Lord. Lord, we're going to hurt, we're going to miss her, we're going to have pain. But Lord, be with us. Let us know that you're still God, you're still large and in charge, you're in control. This day did not take you by surprise. You're able to do anything. Father, you could have kept her if you had so chosen to. But you let her go. Now, Lord, help us to let her go. 
Help us, Lord, to find comfort and peace in you. And Father, again, just bless us. Give us traveling mercy. Those that are traveling, bless this house. Bless the word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody said amen. Amen. And amen. And Andrea wanted to see. 
and she kept a big wad of bubble gum in her mouth. <laughs> and she would always sit right over there by the brother with the beard. And you up through that nigga <laughs> and stood right there and saw him. Everybody know that? Take me to the king. Wow. Oh, wow. Now I'll tell you what God has done. Yeah. Uh, taking her to the king. My Lord, my Lord. Andrea has called a special meeting here today. And the reason most of y'all, I imagine all of us in here, is because of this young lady who has gone to be with the Lord. And we thank God for that. For all the alone, we are all the same better. Bye bye. Right now, we are all reading her history and a moment of silence. everybody. I'm a church girl, so I'm going to need y'all to get with me, okay? Because in this moment, we are still should be grateful. Amen. 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 So I'm going to protect this song. I um, got a little help over here.
that they cut the throat and I couldn't say no more. My Lord. True story. I used to say, boy, you could say, that whatever, whatever. I, I used to say, I used to say no song. What's his name, Bishop? I didn't think it was one Old from Amityville, New York. What's that one name? Now, too much working. Uh, oh, all right, now. I was done this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tommy could pull it together. <laughs> but now I sound like Lewis on Shore. Lewis down the mess. One by one. Oh, 
<clears throat> and if we call, you got the answer. Got yes, sir. Answer. Yes, sir. I'm about to. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to. I think I made it my point. I will tell you over and over, you're going to die. <laughs> I see some folks, folks squirm, squirming in their seat when I see you going to die. Oh, yeah, you do, baby. <laughs> Roll your eyes at me if you want to. You see it going to die. Yes. Yeah. My Lord. Poke your lip out, you see it going to die. Get someone up here trying to hit me, then I know you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got to be here. Jesus. I can run. Amen. Oh. We're gonna have some tribute to some friends and family. Anybody want to give a tribute? A mic that makes you that mic is on, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so. Yes. Amen. Anybody mad your time? Hey, do this in part or not. Thank you, baby. Come on back, baby. Come on back. Stand right there till she get through. Yes, ma'am.
Sandra was to me what I was to her dad, to Javon. I'm sorry Javon can't make it today. Um, she was born 2003, and y'all know she passed in 2023. Three is my favorite number. I had three kids, that was it. I mean, everything, three, everything doing with three in my life, that's it. And when I find out she passed right in 2023, I'm like, wow, Lord. You take my drill away from me, that I'm her best friend to her dad, and she's her best friend to my youngest? That's, that's touching. Yeah. And I will miss her. Yeah. The last time I did see her, and I haven't saw her in a while, was a funeral, and me and her hug like sister, sister, you know, show sister, sister. Me and her like sister, sister, because I didn't have a sister, but me and her so good, and I mean, I, I haven't had missed her, and to know that she passed crossing the street, and I, I always preach Javon, her favorite cousin, her little favorite cousin, Javon, please be careful going across the street, because I saw three people die in front of me crossing all the street on one of the highway, and for her to pass like that, and I push that to Javon, it's, it's, it's like tearing me apart, so. I love her and I don't miss her. Bye. Okay. Three is a special number. I had seen you in three months. <laughs> 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 Give it up to God, Bishop. Um, my name is Molly, and I'm with my aunt, Lady Jennifer. Uh, we are here from Paraguay, um, where Alex was born of our love, uh, Moises. Um, she was uh, just a light to all of us. Um, she was born in 1960. I just want to quickly say to the family, listen, even in this season, God still sits on the throne. Yes, he does. No matter what. So just keep your faith, continue to give God the praise, and I promise you, he will get the glory. Amen. So we're here to um, love on his family. If you need to see it all, we're here for you guys. Okay? Amen. 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 Amen.
Yes. Always your strength. Always. Yes. Always. Yes. Always. Yes. Always. Yes. 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 Did y'all want to give some formal thank you? Go right here, sweetheart. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. Wow. The place is packed for my sweetheart, baby. I appreciate each and every one of you, your love, the energy that you sent from far, the donations so that we could even make this happen. Um, Alexandria used me and her father as the vessels to come here and shine her bright light on all that there is uh, here far and wide, even the people that weren't able to make it here. I want all of you to understand that I know for sure that I did not get to pick the exact time that she came here. The doctors told me that she was gonna come on July 16th. She decided that she was coming July 13th at 1.13 p.m. I did not get to pick that. Alexandria was not mine. I was blessed to be called mommy by her, but I did not own her. I did not get to decide when I was ready for her to come home. I did not get to decide when her mission, her purpose for being here was complete. And what I would like for you all to take with you today is that God is always in control. And just like the bishop said, we all have an appointment that we cannot be late for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to celebrate her. My heart will forever beat differently. It forever will beat differently. But I am committed to celebrating Alex and her life and her legacy. Thank you all again very much. And we're going to do the enchantment right here. Right here we do the enchantment. Thank you so much. service for this morning. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Just brief acknowledgments. Can we, first of all, can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus in this place? <laughs> Drive in Hamburg World. 
Um, I want to go there and celebrate her last step. So we're going to go there to do a loan release, and then we can return to the church to do the repast and give them an opportunity to set up to feed all these beautiful people. So, thank you. We'll be leaving here going directly back. Amen. So we are, we, are we going to move? Can we go there? We can go there. Okay. So uh, after this, this, the dismissal, we are getting down the car and follow this busy and come on back to the tree for three minutes. Amen. So glad morning. Stay with us. So glad morning. Christmas morning, my sweet baby met her fate, her destiny right here in this last turning lane. She was walking across the street trying to get to this BP station. Alex was a very free willed person. And from what I understand, the story goes is that she wanted something to drink and she had been waiting for too long for somebody to bring her. So, like she is, she's a woman of her heart. She decided to take off walking, come to the store, and in this turning lane, this, this uh, crosswalk right here. Is where um, she took her last steps. So I thank you, thank you all for uh, being out here with us. Um, we're gonna release balloons. So Alex's song was "Take Me to the King," and I wanted to sing for my baby, so I'm gonna do it. Leave me there alone. Sing for your baby. Sing for your glory. And sing to you this song. You ready? You ready? Let us know. Let us know. Mama, y'all. Oh.